In this video, we will understand Young's double slit experiment. The experiment is a remarkable one that reveals the wave nature of light. Thomas Young performed this experiment in 1801 and it served as the first evidence for wave theory. In this experiment, it was found that light behaves not as particles but as waves. Additionally, it was observed that light waves exhibit interference where two or more light waves superimpose on each other, resulting in constructive or destructive interference. This phenomenon is known as interference. Now, let's understand this experiment into details. To understand this experiment, we need to understand some basic terms, such as wavefront, interference, superposition of waves, etc. The animation in this video illustrates how a monochromatic light source emits light waves. Monochromatic light sources emit single color light. These light waves are emitted in the form of spherical wave fronts. In general, light waves are represented as sine waves. But in three dimensions, they travel in the form of spherical wave fronts. We can consider the surfaces of these wave fronts as wave crests, representing the maximum intensity of the light wave, and the areas between two spherical wave fronts as wave troughs, representing the minimum intensity of the light wave. In this light wave, we will consider the blue spherical wave front as the crest and the red spherical wave front as the trough. In the animation, we see that when these spherical wave fronts move away from the source, the radius of the waves increase. Now, consider there are two slits placed in front of these light waves with very sharp openings allowing the light waves to pass through. When these light waves encounter the slits, two new light sources are created at the slits, generating new light waves. These light waves are incident on the screen and create a pattern like this. We refer to this light pattern as interference fringes. In this pattern, dark and bright regions are formed at different places. This pattern signifies that the intensity of the light waves varies at different positions on the screen. Let's explore why this happens. In the animation, we observe that two spherical waves are emitted from both sources, each having a crest and a trough. When a crest of one wave superimposes with the crest of the other wave on the screen, the two waves combine to form a new wave with higher intensity at that point, resulting in bright fringes on the screen. Conversely, when a crest of one wave superimposes with the trough of the other wave, they cancel each other out and the intensity of the light wave becomes minimum at that point creating dark fringes on the screen. Here is complete interference pattern of Young's double slit experiment. This phenomenon is called the interference of light. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel.